So it's a little experiment. I've been just going around asking people if doing a cooking video might be fun. Now I'm going to make a quick one uh, for something that I usually make for breakfast. And hopefully you'll enjoy it, be able to hear me and think it's comprehensible enough to understand whatever the fuck I'm trying to say despite my dishwasher running and my oven being on. Speaking about my oven, I need to check something. 12 seconds later. What I'm going to be making is called kanji or juke or just simply rice porridge because it's inspired by those recipes as dishes and it's not the actual dish itself. What is it? It's a kind of porridge soup hybrid and I enjoy it for breakfast really. I always have it for breakfast. It's easy to make, doesn't take a lot of time and it's really enjoyable. So, you're going to need your chopping block and knife. You don't need to use a scale but I'm going to use one to make things easier and you guys, really. About a litre of water should do the trick. Add more if you want a lighter soup and add less if you want a heavier porridge. Any kind of rice will do. I'm using this normally disgusting rice really. I don't enjoy it at all. But it's high in fibre so you know it's got something going for it. And whichever stock you prefer. Now I generally go for a combination of chicken and some kind of seafood stock. So I'm going to use shrimp in this one. Are you going to need your aromatics, your herbs, or whatever you want to use? Now, in my case, I use chili. I've got some relatively fresh, slightly dry chili left over, and I've got some ginger. I'm a very big fan of ginger. Also, optionally, use some garlic. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm not going to use it in this one. It really stinks up the place. And with blaze, I mean actually, it stinks up you. Your colleagues won't like it, your friends won't like it, and you might smell like garlic in the entire day. Which, in all honesty, it's not too bad, but most people hate it. So, we're going to start off by getting our water ready. Now, I've done so already. Now, second step, for about a litre of water, you want to use anywhere between, let's say, 100 grams and 150, 160-ish grams of rice to start off with, really. It comes down to about two to three handfuls, if you've got rather big hands, which is fine. Now, now we've got that out of the way, we're going to chop our chili. This out of the way. Doesn't matter if you go for a coarse chop or a fine one, you can also leave your seeds in. It's really not that important. See, coarse chopping, fine chopping, not even going to try and cut things the same size. I can though, so let me show you that I actually can. See? Now looking at it, I think that one chili is going to do the trick, but I do like a bit more heat. Now, for your ginger, you can leave the skin on, it's fine, really. But, it does give a bit of an earthy taste to it, which I don't always want. Uh, yes, the best way of grabbing your ginger is by getting a spoon and just scratching the skin off. It works really well, trust me. But, that's always a bit of a hassle, it takes up some time, so for making my congee, my juke or my rice porridge, whatever you want to call it really, doesn't matter to me what you decide to call it, I tend to just slice off the skin, uh, these little bits that are left over from it, I put in a cup of tea or whatever. It keeps for a long time as well, so just put it in the fridge, really. And with your ginger, you do want to make sure that you can actually uh, miss it while you're doing the last step. 
So for your ginger, it is kind of important that you slice it into little cubes or slices or whatever. Because in the end, because I'm a bit of a lazy bum, or because I'm absolutely intelligent, clever and handsome, you decide. I generally use a blender, whatever, really, to mix it all together. Blend it. It's called a blender for a reason. And that's it. End of the soup. Done. Very easy. Now, this is all of the prep work done. Really. There's nothing more to it. Now, for the other step, and I'm just going to use a jar and spill rice to show you. You don't have to do this in a jar, really. It doesn't matter. Now, I generally opt for one litre, one and a half. This thing's called... There's things called a tablespoon. I'm not sure why. But I opt for chicken stock for the main part of the flavour. And I enhance the flavour by adding basically a third of the same amount of fish stock. Just get yourself a big nice pan. In my case I'm using my really, really old wok. Put the heat on, ignore the fact that my uh, stove top is a bit filthy. I've been deep frying a lot lately. But scratch that, not everyone can boil water. Now, add your aromatics. And, you know, most people would say, and they are right, that if you use fresh ingredients for this, you'd have to add it at the end. Hold on. And really, use garlic if you make this shit for dinner. You can have this for dinner, lunch and breakfast. It's lovely. Now, and this is the easy part, you just dump the entire thing in. It's not rocket science. Anyone can do it. See? Easy. Make sure you give it a stir. It needs to wash up anyway. Now, my bouillon is actually going to need a little bit to clear up. It starts very cloudy, not very appetizing, but needs about 10 minutes in hot water. And that's it. Now for the last step, which I'm going to have to put on video later, but you won't notice, you're going to get a blender and just blitz the entire fucking thing. Really, it's easy. Just blitz it. And you're going to be left with this lovely, amazing rice porridge stock thing. Whatever you want to call it, really. It doesn't matter to me, doesn't matter to anyone what you call it. Now, an important footnote. You should actually try and make this with day old rice. And as far as I understand it, gluttonous rice is the best. Any kind of sticky rice, steamed rice, whatever you've got, as long as it sticks, you can eat it with chopsticks. That's a good test, always do it. Now for the last part, blitz it. And, well, if you're wearing headphones right now, you're going to die. Still a bit too thick, if you ask me. So I'll just add a bit more water and I'll also turn the heat off because this thing is starting to look like a volcano. There we go, and now, in all honesty, we're all done at this point. For me, right now, it's gotten a bit too watery, I think. No, it's fine. But I usually just let it simmer for another 10 minutes. Now, remember to keep tasting, and I've got rather large chunks of chilli in here. And if I wanted to, of course, I could blitz it up even more. But I do like it. It really does wake me up in the morning. 
and it's ready to be eaten right now. Just put it in a bowl and enjoy. You can freeze it, don't worry. And it keeps in the fridge for about two days, I'd say. So, that's it. That's how you make a rice porridge soup. Duke, congee, whatever you want to call it. It's loosely based on it. It's tasty, it's healthy. Yes, it's absolutely loaded with carbs, but... The way I look at it, if you start your day off with carbs, you don't really need that much of them during the rest of your day.